Well, good morning, my friends. It's just me here, Rodi, um, coming at you with a rant this morning and a cup of coffee. So cheers to everyone. If you're watching this in the morning, it's going to go up in a little bit. It's about 7.20 a.m. here in New York uh, on Monday, the 14th of August, 2023. So what is my rant about? It's about Weight Watchers. I am so, so done, okay, done. I have been a lifetime member since last fall, the latter part of it, last fall. A paying member for six years before that, um, never did well in the plan. Why did I stay with the plan? Because I did become very close to my coach, Michelle. Actually, in the beginning, I had Irene, who I adore, um, and she was severely mistreated by WW when they started getting rid of people haphazardly uh, during the viral the virus pandemic. In addition to a few other people that I met. Now, please be aware that during the almost the entire time the studios were closed in pandemic, I was on like five meetings a day, seven days a week even. Does it sound crazy? Maybe it does, but. I was feeling a sense of community at that time, even if the plan wasn't working for me. It was in a sense because it was keeping me from going over the edge, even if I wasn't following the plan properly. Um, even though there were periods of time where I really did try my best, it just never worked for me. So, and probably that is because when I originally joined, I thought I could eat anything I want and lose 10 pounds. I only was looking to lose 10 pounds that I had managed to put on um, and I was like, gee, I'll try this. This sounds good. Well, hello. You can't eat anything you want in any plan that you're doing. Don't be fooled by that. You can maybe eat anything you want in a sense of you can have some of it, but you can't eat all of it, okay? If somebody's leading you to believe that, you're going down the wrong road. Anyway, so I quickly found out that wasn't going to work for me. Even though if I used all my points and I ate my zero-point foods, I was going to gain weight. But anyway, we're not going to get on that right now. What I'm upset about today is all the changes they've made, like haphazard giving you the BS about the scientific blah, blah, blah of needing changes. You don't need changes in a plan for in a year because of scientific method. Sorry. Okay. Not happening. And people, unfortunately, are led to believe that and that's their choice to do. I say be a consumer in your life. Be a consumer with medical. Be a consumer with finance. Be a consumer with everything what you're going to eat, what you're not going to eat. We all have to be a consumer and we have to make educated decisions as opposed to just following, you know, the carrot and, and putting blinders on to what's really not real. And, um, just becoming like in a cult mentality. That's what I call it anyway, where you stop thinking for yourself and you, you stop blaming yourself for why something isn't working. It, you know, sometimes things don't work for a reason because they're not the right things for, for you as an individual or me. And it's fine to try something. I think it's very, you know, if, you're, if you've done a plan for a length of time and really feel you've given it your all based on what your all is for you as a person, and it's not working for you, it's time to rethink that. And if someone's telling you otherwise, they're not being honest with you. I could never sit before a person and say, don't try something. If, if you're doing something and you feel it's not working, there could be a zillion reasons why it might not be working. But if in your mindset, you've put already the thought that you need to try something different, then if you don't try something different and you continue to be the dead horse, so to speak, with what you're already doing, How's that going to work for you? I don't think so. Again, on this channel, you get the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay? Just like right now, I am just out of bed, basically. It's been a couple hours since I've been up. I'm on, like, my third cup of coffee, and this is who I am. I'm not going to be anything different for you because I have a video channel or a YouTube channel. That would be just ridiculous to me. Um, so... Anyway, leading me to this morning, 
it's been floating around. I, I have some friends that are doing that are YouTubers that have, I mean, big big channels, and I am in their groups, their Facebook groups, and um, I'm noticing that some people. Let me speed up to back in March. I found out by accident from someone who was also a Weight Watchers member that goes to the studio and his lifetime that she received an email that said she didn't have to um, weigh in again until February 2024 because they're closing studios, moving studios and all of this. And I never received that email. So I went into the chat through my app and I asked the question and the person said, no, you don't have to weigh in to maintain your lifetime membership, which means you don't pay fourteen ninety five or fourteen fifty a month as a penalty if you don't weigh in for a month. Because to be maintained in lifetime, you have to go once a month and weigh in. That's all the requirement is. So anyway, I said, oh, okay. In the meantime, my studio closed. I was getting busy in my life doing other things. And I've still maintained that busyness in my life throughout. And now that it's just become, they moved finally to studios and it's just become inconvenient for me to go to these studios where they are now located, even though they're a few miles away from where they were, it's just not convenient anymore, period. So anyway, um, and also it's, my schedule is what it is. And um, in order for me to meet that, I'd have to travel pretty far to a different studio and not have my coach and so on and so forth to weigh in. So right now I am just not in the mindset because I again thought I had till February to worry about this to now go. And get weighed in so now rumor has it that people are getting letters out of the blue in their email that say oh we've changed our mind on that you now have to weigh in in by the end of august in order to maintain lifetime so how fair is that it's no more fair than changing up a plan mid-year and saying oh the the research is now telling us the scientific research that this plan isn't as good as it could be so we're going to change it again and every two years we change because isn't it convenient that every two years the plan has to change because of science i mean really okay so i went on because again i didn't receive an email in march and i still didn't receive an email about right now in august so i said let me go on this morning into 24 7 chat and ask about this and the woman says, oh, yeah, we sent you an email August 1st. Well, hello, I didn't receive that email. And guess what? It's not in my spam folder. Oh, well, we'll verify your email address. Okay? It's not there. I have another email from Weight Watchers when I was being in the process of um, the interview process to become employed as a guide. So that came to me. Nobody else sent me anything from Weight Watchers. I get from Weight Watchers advertisement to go and shop in the Weight Watchers online shop to buy product. I did not receive anything from Weight Watchers. Still haven't. So, okay, we'll blame it on me. Fine. So she says, um, uh, yeah, you would be included in that. You have to be weighed in. Oh, we'll just, you'll just pay a nominal fee of 14 something and change. If, if things don't go well. Well, you know what? Beside the fact that things don't go well, I have plenty of room for things to go well. I can just change and go up. I still can go to 143 pounds on their scale. Right now I'm at 137 on their scale. So I'm not worried about the weigh-in. I am just appalled at how all of a sudden you just email everyone and hope they get the email. And then if they don't get the email, you'll collect the money because they won't show up or they'll lose their lifetime membership, whatever. No, 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 not working for me. So you know what? I finally left Weight Watchers. Kudos to me, okay? I said, no, thank you. I want you to cancel my membership. And then you get the blah, blah, blah about blah, blah, blah. No, I, I just want you to cancel my membership now. So she says, you're gonna accept it expect an email here's the cancellation number blah, blah blah so i screenshot it because guess what it's not in my email and i did give her my email so whatever's going on with the email as an aside this is a totally unfair way to treat your lifetime members okay 
and apparently they don't care about lifetime members anymore. And I'm not even surprised because they're in this to make money. And let's not even get on the topic of Ozempic and how they bought a platform that sell a, a pharmacy or whatever they bought to sell Ozempic. Okay. And the BS they're telling people about that. You know who I feel sorry for? I feel sorry for the poor members that I've seen for years sitting in meetings that have not lost any weight and continue to pay. I don't feel sorry for me. You know, anyone that has done Weight Watchers long enough can go into the Healthy app and pay $40 a year, and sometimes you even can get a discount, okay? And even if you're in the UK, you can use the Healthy app, or wherever you may be. You can get the Healthy app if you're in Weight Watchers in the UK or wherever. I'm saying the UK because I have made a lot of subscribers or some subscribers from the UK to my channel, and I also, um, through Slimming World and NutriCheck Calorie Counting, have some people that I know in, that are in the UK. And um, interestingly enough, the people that I know aren't doing Weight Watchers. Actually, I know two coaches that left from the UK and they formed their own company, the Weight Loss Company. And they are a calorie, ba calorie counting based um, coaching company. Two lovely women that helped me actually um, in my journey to try to get rid of my weight, especially after the virus. Um, lovely ladies and I miss them I actually was doing zoom meetings with them once a week up until when I went to Slimming World because Slimming World is expensive and I couldn't afford to do both and um, I also didn't want to go into a meeting and you know stand on pretense that I'm calorie counting when I'm doing Slimming World I don't think that would be fair to the owners of the company or the people that I'm in the meeting with I would feel like I'm deceiving people and I didn't want to do that either uh, I didn't think that was right. Anyway, so that is my rant for today. My message today is if you are on a plan that you are paying for or even not paying for and you want to do something else, because I see people, some people flip-flopping. I'll call it flip-flopping because I do it myself. And, you know, when you are a chronic dieter, you get what I call, and it may be already a coin term that I picked up and I'm forgetting. You develop chronic fatigue, uh, not chronic fatigue, diet fatigue. I am convinced of this. And when you develop that, you need to sometimes just switch over because you're fatigued of, in other words, recently happened to me. I got really tired when I started to try and do more whole foods plant-based eating, I got exhausted of calorie counting. Every kernel of corn, every pea, you know, you start building a salad and you're putting like five or 10 things in your salad. It gets really, really exhausting to track all that. Now, Nutrisystem, which is a plan that I was on and successfully lost weight with, you don't count, track your non-starchy vegetables. So that makes it a lot easier. They want you to eat four portions a day. I always ate more than that. And I didn't really hardly have to track anything. You're tracking calories, pardon this exhaust, this loud noise here. Um, people are commuting behind my house. Anyway, so I guess that I was calorie counting using the NutriCheck. I went, I went to a standstill. I plateaued. I started Nutrisystem. I did that probably, I don't know, I want to say five, six months. I got to goal. Now you do track calories, except for that with NutriCheck. Uh, you could do it in NutriCheck. You could do it in My Fitness Pal. You could do it anywhere you want. But they have the Numi app. So when you track in there, you're just scanning and going. And if you're not tracking your vegetables, uh, you know, your non starchy vegetables, and you're just sticking in fruit, yogurt, for the day, you're hardly tracking anything. So now from that, I went back to my NutriCheck, my beloved NutriCheck app. And now I started tracking and I started eating a lot less of Nutrisystem food, which means I'm not scanning very much. And when you're eating more fresh fruits, foods, you have a lot more tracking to do. So I got really, really tired of that. And that's what brought me to my second round of Slimming World, which I am enjoying, minus my night eating. And I'm not really sure how to get around that night eating yet. I'm still trying very, very hard. I'd be the thinnest person in the world if I only ate 
for dinner and maybe had a little something healthy after that, I would be probably 115, 120 pounds. But I'm not at this moment in time. It's just how it is, right? You go with the flow. But my plan is when I'm done with my three months of Slimming World, that I will not be paying any longer because being in the States, I really don't use anything that's in the app. I do. I did try a Zoom meeting. I thought it was very nice. Um, I felt very welcomed. It was a small group meeting, which I think is wonderful. And, um, but I don't see myself paying because again, right now I'm paying 30% more than the people in the UK because the dollar is not strong. Um, it changes daily a little bit it fluctuates but when I go in I'm paying like 30 cents more on the dot on the pound for the dollar so it's even more money and um, if I'm not really using the app there's no real point you know you can go online and you can look up since basically what I you have to kind of um, play with it a little bit and figure out what your healthy extra bees equivalents are in the US and it's really not hard at all and how to figure out your scent, it's not hard at all. I really think that it's not a problem for me to be able to still follow that plan, even if I go back to calorie counting. I just have to figure out, you know, because I think the basics of that plan, it's really so simple that if you wanted to, because again, calorie counting can get kind of, it gets very easy to eat unhealthy when you're calorie counting where if you have some parameters like the beautiful ones that are in the Slimming World plan, the very simple and easy ones to carry on with in your daily eating and you you monitor your calories, you're good. And when you get down to the end of your journey, which I am at, trying to, I'm really in maintenance, honestly, it's a balancing act and you have to pay attention to calories if you're, if you're struggling, you have to really start to look at your calories a little bit. I'm not saying to do things, you know, like every kernel of corn or every pea. I think that gets a little ridiculous. But even if you're just weighing your food and you're weighing it into portions, you're still monitoring calories that way. Let's be serious. We know the difference between when we're not paying attention enough and we're loading up our plate or we're going off the plan and eating things that take you over your sins or your calories for the day. We all know that. We're not, we don't have to fool ourselves. You know, nobody's fooling anybody. Um, we're only cheating ourselves when we do things like that. And the other topic before I go is if you need to change your plan because you just need to do that, don't let anyone intimidate you. Don't. They can try to coach you or counsel you or just be an armchair keyboardist that goes on your YouTube channel and gives you their best advice when you don't even know who they are, okay? They could be trolls. They could be people who may not even be on any plan and they just run around trying to make people's lives miserable on YouTube because these things happen. People do troll people. They do it on Facebook too. You know, they just show up and they're there to make people's lives miserable because somewhere along the line it brings them joy. I have to feel sorry for those people. But I also don't let those people influence me. That's the key. You know, I can feel badly for that person and say, gee, you know, what kind of a life are you leading? What's missing in your life that this brings you joy? But by the same token, they don't influence me. They don't bother me. I, I could just click and block with no thought other than you don't need to be here because you're not helping anybody who might be watching my video by them seeing what you're writing. You're certainly not helping me. So bye-bye to you, you know, click and buy. But there are some people that are seriously influenced by what people write. And that is sad because I don't think anyone has a YouTube channel about weight loss because they're not having their own inner struggles. We all have inner struggles. You know, the average person who comes on their channel and says, I am struggling, I need help, does not need to hear things like, 
you should do this and you should do that. Yeah, it's there are ways of wording things that can be very helpful to people. But then there are also people that are adamant and they feel the need to tell you you're doing everything wrong. And if you're getting that kind of feedback on your channel, then click and delete. Click and block. Those people are not there to help you. And I don't see how anybody could... Um, genuinely feel they're helping somebody they're not people that want to help people and support people tell you things like I'm here to support you no matter what you do um, I can offer you my thoughts but these are my thoughts and you need to do what you need to do because in the end of the day trust me people are gonna do what they're gonna do anyway so what is the point of going and that's why I feel someone who genuinely wants to support someone on, in their channel is not going to speak to them in that tone and with that attitude. They're not. And if they are, they're not being a friend. They're not being a support person. They're not. They're just there for their own purposes. So if you are a person who is struggling and needs to change because sometimes you get diet fatigue and you just need something new, even if it's for a few months or a few weeks, you just need a break. Especially if you're calorie counting, because it really does get very tedious at times. And you just need a break from that. It's refreshing to try something new. If that's what you need to do, you're going to do it anyway. So just go do it. And don't be bothered with what people are telling you. Because in the end of the day, we all have to make our own decisions. Remember in the beginning of this, I said we're all consumers. And we have to do things accordingly in our lives. And that is my message to you today. In addition to, I'm, I'm thrilled not to be... A member of Weight Watchers anymore. It's a relief to me actually because I felt very guilty about not tracking points anymore. I felt very guilty and that's on me. So now I feel relieved. I'm done. No, I'm not traveling further to a studio to weigh in and make it convenient for them because they are ultimately trying to get money out of me. No, sorry, you're not getting any more money out of me. I'm done with you. Okay, finished. I have the Healthy app. I have the NutriCheck app. I have the Slim World app. I'm good. I know what to do. So, my friends, if there's anything that I've said today that resonates with you, do what you need to do. Okay? Don't let a plan rule your life if it's not working for you. And I've seen people who, who've who done calorie counting that are on YouTube, and then they switch because they needed a break. They just need something fresh and new to do, for goodness sake. And they realize they need to go back to calorie counting. Sometimes people do that throughout a year. But, you know, it's sad if they haven't been successful at all. I feel for them because I understand what they're going through. And maybe this is just a step in their journey and their process to finding where else they need to go. I don't know. I pray for them because I've prayed for myself. And I truly do keep them in my prayers and hope that because they need to get healthy, in order to in, in order to have any longevity in their life and quality of life because ultimately if you're young and you're already struggling it's not going to get any better for you as you get older trust me I'm an older person now I know this and so I I send everyone hugs especially those that are struggling and um, whatever you need to do just do it you know it, there's a lot of responsibility we put on ourselves when we have a YouTube channel. And again, my channel is very tiny and I haven't had it very long compared to other people. But I certainly understand how you may be struggling with making a change because you have a channel and you're afraid to lose people or you just feel obligated to people. Or, or sometimes maybe we feel like, oh, what are people going to think of me? I don't know what I'm doing and I'm out here with a channel. Well, you know what? That isn't true. Because people who follow you are gonna follow you anyway. The people who are there to support you are gonna support you anyway. And those that don't, oh, not to worry. You'll be okay. The most important thing is you're true to yourself and you do what's good for you. So on that note, I'm gonna say goodbye for now. I'm gonna wish you all well. I'm gonna pray for everyone that you take some steps to take care of yourself, whatever they may be. They may be tiny steps. Maybe tiny steps are what you need to do. Tiny steps lead to bigger steps. 
lead to a multiple multiple steps. In the beginning, it's hard. In the middle, it's hard. At the end, part of it is hard. It's all hard. I'm not going to lie to you, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. Okay? So, I'm going to say goodbye to you for now. I'm going to thank you very much for watching my video and for being here with me. And I will see you in the next one. Hugs. Thank you.